triangles. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. We classify triangles by their angles and by their sides. We're going to go ahead and classify by the angles first. So we can have an acute triangle. In an acute triangle, all angles are acute. And remember, acute angles are less than 90 degrees. In a right triangle, there is one right angle. So one angle is 90 degrees. And in an obtuse triangle, you have one obtuse angle. And remember, obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180. When you classify triangles by their sides, they could be equilateral. In an equilateral triangle, all sides are congruent. This is shown by markings. When a side has the same mark as another side, it means that the length is the same. Isosceles triangle is a triangle that has at least two congruent sides. So here, these two sides of the triangle are the same length. And in a scalene triangle, there are no congruent sides. That could be shown by no marks or a different mark on each side. Different marks mean different lengths. Now in a triangle, the sides and the angles that are across from them have a relationship. So if this is angle A, B, and C, the side across from angle A, I'm going to call little a. It's not that they're the same number, because remember, angles are measured in degrees, and sides are going to be measured in inches or centimeters or feet or any kind of measurement for distance or length. But they have a relationship with each other. So the side across from B is going to be a little b, and the side across from angle C is going to be a little c. What that means to us is that if we had two angles that had the same measure, then their sides across from them would also be the same. So just by looking at a triangle, we can tell without markings whether it's going to be equilateral, isosceles, or scalene by knowing the value of the angles. So let's go ahead and find some missing angles and then classify the triangle by its angles. So in our first triangle, we have 63 degrees, 42 degrees, and x. Well, we know that the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So 63 plus 42 plus x equals 180. Now, I know it may seem silly to go through and do an easy question like this, but when you learn the process on how you're solving, when we get to the harder questions, they're not going to seem hard. So 63 and 42 is 105, plus x equals 180. Subtract 105 on both sides, and x is 75 degrees. So now we need to classify the triangle by its angles and its sides. So we have a 60 degree, a 42, and a 75 degree angle. So that means they are all acute. And since all the values are different, it is a acute scalene triangle. Okay, our next triangle. We have 37. This symbol means 90 and y. So 37 plus 90 plus y equals, and the sum is always 180. So add 37 and 90. 127 plus y equals 180. Subtract 127 on both sides, and y is 53 degrees. So now we have 53 degrees, 37 degrees, and 90. So since we have a right angle, this is a right, and all of the angles are different, so in another scalene triangle. This one is right scalene. 
And in our last triangle, this is where it becomes important for us to know how to solve, even when the numbers are kind of easy for us to understand. Up until now, we've had degrees in place of two of the angles. This time, we have all variables, but we're going to solve it the same way. 6p plus 2p plus 2p plus 2p equals 180. Collect like terms, and that's going to be 10p equals 180. Divide both sides by 10, and p is 18. 18 is not one of the angles. 18 is our value for p. So to find our angle that is 2p, multiply 2 times 18, and this angle is 36 degrees, as is this angle right here. So then 6p, 6 times 18, is 108 degrees. So to classify this, we have an angle that's over 90 degrees, so this is an obtuse, and two angles are the same, meaning this side and this side are going to be the same length. So it's an obtuse isosceles triangle.